good morning from a very rainy day 12 and it's gonna be like this all day and probably tomorrow as well so I'm super glad I made the call to come down here to Port Meunier to ride it out and let me be clear I'm riding it out um, in the sense that there's no other place to go but this tent uh, it's not like there's other lodging in Cormagnier or anywhere on the island for that matter. And uh, I'm really glad I'm not cycling in it. It's kind of cold. It's definitely windy. And uh, as you can hear, it's most certainly wet. That's a recipe for hypothermia. Something I did not really want to mess around with. So it's still raining a bit. Well, raining. But uh, I decided I needed to get out of the tent. <laughs> For a little bit anyways and go for a walk uh it wasn't raining when i started but this is the way things go On the outside, it's church. On the inside, it's a museum. How about that? And it's way warmer here than out there. And this is the church on the other half of the building. Meanwhile, outside... <laughs> lunch and cycle the doors and they were also doing their main delay activities. In this case, bingo. It's a bit hard to see, but that's a black fox walking across the road up there in the distance. It's the afternoon, the rain's abated a bit, so I'm out walking around still. How are you doing there? How are you doing? Hmm? Yeah, you're a beauty, aren't you? Yes, you are. Oh, yeah. I like you. Awesome. <laughs> this is the place for common fires, as it turns out. It's where I ended up the very first night that I was here, and I didn't see most of it because <laughs> it was so dark. What I didn't see were probably the herons flying away from me. I didn't see the wood pile. Okay. Didn't see the benches. What I did see was the possibilities and uh, uh, the adventure, honestly, that I had just embarked on. And I think that showed in my voice. It certainly felt in my feelings. This lighthouse began life in the era of Henri Meunier when he was founding the town. It was originally on the sea coast, but then they moved it here into the bay, although the sign makes very clear that the lighthouse is now dangerous, which means I guess it could fall any time. Uh, it's pretty cool though. It keeps telling me to try visual, video stabilization. <laughs> Uh, so I think I want to have a fire. I have a little fire thing there, and I got some firewood. They brought some in 
this morning and covered it in plastic, which was super nice. I don't have any kindling or anything like that. All I've got is this piece of wood. They're all about this size and my multi-tool. So that's how I'm going to do it. Of course, a little bicycle oil helped too. Survivor Man would be proud. I used the tools that I had. And that was it for our rain delay day. I spent a lot of time in the tent listening to War and Peace on Audible and sheltering from the rain and just being happy that I wasn't cold and shivering out there on a highway somewhere.